City Hall has put a stop to red light cameras in Syracuse. The decision comes just two weeks after temporary cameras were placed at a handful of intersections throughout the city as a test. News Channel 9's Jan Carabea was live tonight at one of those sites. Jan, why scrap the project now? Well, Carrie, it all comes down to safety. The committee looked at a bunch of data collected here on Park Street with those temporary cameras. They also considered a lot of accident data from intersections provided by the Syracuse Police Department. They came to the conclusion that they didn't believe these red light cameras would make Syracuse streets safer. There's the concern, T-bone crashes. A frightening result from a driver who thinks yellow means speed up. But how many really happen here? Looking at how many serious accidents do we have in the city of Syracuse, where there was serious injury or fatalities in a T-bone crash. And the answer to that, well, I don't have an exact number, is fortunately not a great deal. Safety has always been the main reason for installing red light cameras in the city. And without a real threat, committee member Bill Ryan says proceeding with the technology would seem like a money grab. That was not something that we wanted to be part of. Even so, he says there's no guarantee the city would get any money. Other places with the cameras have had a hard time collecting on tickets. The cameras catch the car and the license plate, but there's really no way of proving who was driving. And judges increasingly across the country have have said to the municipality, if you can't prove that this driver, uh, then I'm going to throw this ticket out. But bottom line is safety. With the lack of serious accidents and the way our city streets are laid out, the committee just doesn't think that these cameras are the right fit for Syracuse. Bill Ryan, though, would like to invest more in cameras, just in crime cameras and not the ones that watch red lights. Gary. All right, Jan, thank you. In 2009, Syracuse got the go-ahead from the state to install 50 red light cameras. This past year, the city had been reviewing proposals from four different companies.